welcome back to the channel if it's your first time here my name is Gigo and this is the Pram Pram project today we begin with the block work for the penthouse which is the last level of this uh, project as you can see the track was not able to get closer to the building because uh, the ground is, is really soft you know the whole place is full of sand so the big track the big track cannot go further so this is how far it gets and then uh, we offload the, the blocks right there so meaning we have to load all the blocks from that distance to the building and then take it to the second floor which is the third level and trust me it's not easy with this labor work it's a hard work but hey we tried you know we struggled and then uh, we came up with a, a system where we want to build this kind of uh, like a staircase so that we can be climbing and you know pushing it to the first floor and then someone takes it from there and then put it at the third floor so that's how it's going now and trust me it's not easy but it's all fitness so it's also good in that way and the reason why i'm showing you this is because you know most at times we don't know what goes on you know when we buy when we buy our blocks we only pay for the blocks we don't know how it gets to where it has to be you know the struggle that comes with it we don't also calculate that in the in the labor you know so i just want to do this you know to let people know if you are building three floors four floors how those blocks get into that level even though there are some technologies that you know have a crane or have a system where they they use but most labors in ghana don't have it and this is what they go through so i just want to share that and this not only about block it goes with sand stones and all building materials <laughs> Take some minute answer. Bear one minute. Bear one minute for just two blocks. Two blocks. Yes, uh, one minute. Ready? Okay, I know one minute and one sign. Two minutes. Two minutes. So within a few minutes, not eight blocks. Every top or no. Ah, eight blocks are one minute. You have eight blocks for. By two two, we are not paying the cash. We are because <laughs> Eighty-nine, 
Now, when you say, Yeah, 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 you say, Yeah, they call the funnel. Kakra, Kakra, the fast one, how could you are? And yeah, easy. Ah, let's be a. So what they will be doing is that, so they've now constructed the staircase, like their own block staircase. So what they will do is that they, one person will use the wheelbarrow to offload maybe eight at a time from here and be topping up here whilst they are uh, taking this one from here to the top floor. So that is the mechanism that we want to go with. So we have like one on the top having a wheelbarrow who is taking everything to the top and uh, this guy will be there and I'll be where he is now and then uh, we have this guy moving everything so as as this blocks is going low we have one person who will be pulling up the eight here with the wheelbarrow brings it and top up here so this is the plan for the day and we hope that at least we can get maybe thousand uh, maybe 800 blocks upstairs to today that is the plan for today then we're gonna start laying so <laughs> <laughs> the arms the pepper then you talk how much for only 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 the, the Lord if they chop money every day the way they come up for the man body. Oh shall <laughs> yeah, <do. laughs> I cannot use to buy land in Accra. That one there. Make that land pay there. No, I know. Me, me, me. As I said, I did so. If if they give, if they give me land for my hometown, I'm not going to sell them. Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm on the I'm on the one side. I'm on the one by him. So here we go. This is the hustle. You know, carrying all those blocks to that level wasn't easy, as I said. But for me, it was good because yeah, yeah, I could, you know, gain some fit and lose some weight. For me, it was like exercising, so that was good for me. So that's how the journey goes. Nobody know how these houses are being built down there. But it's not a joke. It's not easy. But hey, we have to do it, you know. So this is a motivation, you know, to all the young ones out there. Actually, this also helps me to save money because, yeah, instead of me being out there with friends and, you know, chilling and doing all those kind of stuff i spend time with them you know connect with them and this is how my breakdown cost is always low at times because you know i connect with them they understand me i share what i've learned in the west with them they know what i'm building because they understand my concept so this is one way i use to to communicate with them you know by working with them I share what what I've learned in the West. Tell them what I, what I'm doing and what I'm building. The reason why I want the windows to be here. The reason why I want that to be there because of what I've seen in the West. And they also learn. And as the building comes up, you know, they understand what I mean. So, and that's how we've built this house. You know, when I when I started, they were like, "No, you are using too much space." It has to be like this in Ghana we don't build like that and you need this and I'm like no you let's do it and you understand and as we get there they understand and they are all in into the project man they are all in and they are always happy to work over there because of the kind of designs and the challenges that we go through together and they see the end result so I always say you always have to connect with your builders you know your laborers always try to call them talk to them once they're on site ask them how they are doing you know and this way if they have problem well most of of them will also try to get money from you but you also have to make it straight you know with them that hey this is what you want to achieve and if you have any help you can do it if not yeah it's not necessary that you you help them so yeah that is how we're going and i don't know if you saw how we we are bringing the sun upstairs you know so we use a bucket and we use a binding wire and then a rope and this is how we bring the 
sand upstairs so we are doing it with a combination of the blocks so so that we can start laying some blocks already you know and uh, we also came up with a system where if if we have some blocks and sand up there two people can already start laying the blocks and we are going to use this same system you know to bring the blocks upstairs so it will just be two people and uh, just the same method to bring the block upstairs and then the rest can start laying the blocks so it wasn't easy because yeah we we tried so many things and you know we finally came up with this kind of system so it's really interesting building in ghana with a group if anytime you go home you know and to watch your projects please just spend some time with them you know see how they are doing the job and try to express yourself how you want the house and how you want your stuff and they will understand so the journey has been fun so far you know with them we still have a long way to go we still have to uh, you know do the roofing and everything but so far it's going well it's been fun and i'm really having a good time with them on site eh? so let's do a quick uh, you know breakdown cost of uh, the block lane so we have about 1500 blocks and uh, according to the contractor we're going to use uh, 50 bags of cement to lay 1500 blocks so if you multiply you know a block cost the whole blocks cost 650 so you multiply that by 1500 one bag of cement is between 90 or 95 so you multiply that by 50 and then your sun uh, i think one trip of sun is like 2200 or i don't know so if you multiply also that you know how much it costs you to lay 1500 blocks as for the labor work uh, i'm not going to say much because every mason and every builder and how they charge depending on how the day how many blocks they lay in a day and stuff so this is just a quick you know breakdown I'll, this is just an estimate so when as we go i'll bring you know more updates on this so if you haven't subscribed to the channel kindly please do subscribe to the channel you know and uh, please do like the video to support the, the movement and the plan is to motivate every young guy out there to start building something at home start doing something at home regardless of the size of the house or the shape of the house when i started i thought this was just this was going to be a small project and here we are you know with motivation and energy here we are don't wait till you start facing problems in the west and then you want to quickly rush and do something home that way you only stress yourself and you only put pressure on yourself because you want everything to go faster and quicker so this is the time to start now step by step slowly and you will surely get there this is what we've done so far for today so this is uh, i think this is 10 so 20 so 40 blocks so 60 80 so 100 so 200 blocks we were able to bring our 200 blocks today let's say 220 or something and uh, we have in total 1500 so we have a long way to go a long way to go but at least we can start with this and look at the view man whoa the view the view the view let's see the fisherman if i can zoom in if you can get the fisherman on the sea yeah these are the fishermen going to fish and yeah so that's it crazy man yeah so this is it for today We'll see what is possible to do tomorrow maybe we can start laying the blocks as i said so that's the mechanism to bring the blocks up here so thanks for watching and don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and i will see you in my next episode let's get do it